Hi, I'm Dave Karger. Thanks for getting your Saturday started with this week's musical matinee. Today I've got a classic movie musical starring two of the most talented dancers in Hollywood history, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. From RKO in 1934, it's The Gay Divorcee. Astaire plays a famous dancer who falls in love with a beautiful woman, played by Rogers, without realizing that she's married and in the process of trying to get a divorce. Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers first appeared on screen together one year earlier in the 1933 musical Flying Down to Rio. They were not the stars of that picture, but as soon as they started dancing together, they stole the show. RKO quickly began planning a follow-up, this time with Astaire and Rogers as the leads. Producer Pandra Berman found the right material in a hit Broadway musical that Fred Astaire had starred in on stage, The Gay Divorce, written by Cole Porter and Dwight Taylor. The title here was changed to The Gay Divorcee to appease the censors, who insisted that a divorcee could be happy, but a divorce could not. Maybe that logic made more sense 90 years ago. The film retained only one song from the original stage version, Cole Porter's haunting ballad, Night and Day. It's one of the movie's highlights and a beautiful romantic dance number for Astaire and Rogers. The dances were choreographed by Fred Astaire and his longtime collaborator Hermes Pan, and they include other memorable numbers like The Continental and Let's Cannot Knees, performed by a 17-year-old Betty Grable. From 1934, also with Alice Brady, Edward Everett Horton, and two other members of the original Broadway cast, Eric Rhodes and Eric Bloor, The Gay Divorcee. The Gay Divorcee earned five Academy Award nominations, including one for Best Picture. It took home the Oscar for Best Original Song, The Continental. This was the first year that the Best Song category ever existed, and The Continental was up against two other contenders, one of which was another Astaire and Rogers number, The Carioca, which they performed in Flying Down to Rio. As a publicity stunt for The Gay Divorcee, Arkea organized demonstrations of the Continental to teach the public how to do the dance, but it never caught on as the newest dance craze. Instead, the movie actually started a different fad. Sales of Venetian blinds apparently soared after audiences saw the window treatments in the film's set design. As for Astaire and Rogers, the gay divorcee cemented their status as a winning team, and they went on to co-star in seven more musicals at RKO in the 1930s before parting ways amicably at the end of the decade to focus on their solo careers. Astaire continued to work mostly in musicals, while Rogers honed her skills as a dramatic actress and quickly won an Oscar, starring in the 1940 drama Kitty Foyle. Up next, Cary Grant and Myrna Loy try to settle down in the country in a comedy from 1948. Next on TCM, Mr. Blandings builds his dream house, then Fort Apache, and later, get Carter. TCM is a dish best served cold today.